Hey, I'm Simon Spring from Wearscape, and I'm happy to announce the latest collaboration between Ellie and Wearscape with the launch of a new API-based integration that enables Ellie users to import their models and all the associated metadata into Wearscape. I'm joined today by Yuha from Ellie. Yuha, good morning. Hi, all. Hey, good morning, good morning. Good to be here and really excited about the new integration thing. What we're going to be doing today is showing you how Ellie and Wearscape integrate. And the idea here is that in a true business-driven data warehousing fashion, we're going to be using Ellie first to capture the idea of what your business kind of looks like, what are the data entities you have data about, and we will use the business design as a blueprint that is fed into Wearscape where all that actual development work is then done. Yeah, right, exactly. Sam? So we're going to take that metadata from Ellie. We can now import that directly into Wearscape 3D using the new Ellie API. So we're going to take that. We're going to then use that design, all the metadata that's been tagged within Ellie to generate our downstream data warehouse. Today we're going to look at a data vault, so we're going to generate a data vault from the model that's been imported from Ellie. Um, we'll have all of the definitions that have been set up within Ellie from the glossary. We'll pull that into 3D. We'll then generate the data vault, all of the code needed to then create that data vault and push it onto your target platform, such as Snowflake or Postgres. And then what we're going to do is we'll take that final result and create some documentation that just shows the whole end-to-end -end where the data comes from, where it ends up going, and how that is associated with the Ellie model. So let's start with Ellie. And uh, as I mentioned, this is about designing the solutions that we're going to be doing. So it is us designing the data products, designing it based on real business information and collaborating as we do that with the business experts who really know what this is all about. Overall, this is kind of a common use case for us at Ellie, where the whole data warehouse is being uh, designed on these business facing principles, meaning that uh, Wearscape utilizes that blueprint to ensure that the data warehouse itself is built around the concept and the structures that the business understands. Now let me jump over to Ellie itself to show you what that looks like. Here we have an example of a data model in Ellie. This is a conceptual data model in Ellie made from kind of pure business perspective. What things do we have data about? How do those things relate to each other in the real world? And uh, all sorts of metadata behind those. So this is a simple diagram showing us the blueprint of these data entities, but everything here is part of Ellie's glossary. So we double click on the payment transaction, for example, and we can see the description. What does a payment transaction mean? We have the entity type. I have typed that as transaction type of data. That was the blue color in the diagram. We have synonyms, examples. We could have all sorts of metadata here, including attributes. So what do we know about the payment transaction? There's the date, time, and the sum, and the currency, and so on and so forth. And all of this metadata is included in Ellie's business glossary. So as I mentioned, Wearscape will be pulling now the model out of Ellie and uh, showing the result there. Simon, go ahead. Thank you, Yuha. So now let's have a look in Wearscape 3D and let's pull that model across. So we'll hit the new import from Ellie button. And now we put in the model number, in this case, 12117. So if we now display that model. You'll see we brought it in. Here's the model number. We've got the various different entities and their entity types. So we've imported our conceptual from Ellie into 3D. We now convert that conceptual model into a logical model. And then we enrich that logical model. And we tag up the model so that the different tags can be used for generating different concepts in the physical model. So business keys, how often the data changes, any personal identifiable information flags. And then once we've done that, that's enough metadata to actually to generate the raw vault, all the loading and staging models, and all the code needed to build that and deploy it. So let's see what that looks like in Wearscape 3D. Here's our conceptual model. I've converted that using a conversion rule into a logical model and I have mapped this onto a source system, a Postgres database with four tables in it. We have a look at some of that data. This is just a single source. You might have hundreds of different sources 
and we map these onto the different entities. If we have a look at counterparty, we'll be sourcing data from the counterparty table and the country table. And if we go into the attributes, we can see how they've been tagged. So counterparty ID has been set to the business key. And if we look at these other fields here, these have all been set as satellite candidates. And you can configure these attribute types however you like. You can import them from Ellie or you can set them within 3D, either manually or for using rules and using profiling metrics. So we've tagged the model here. We can now pull this through into the physical model. There's a number of steps which are all wrapped up in a single step within Wearscape 3D. By clicking the button, we're gonna generate the raw vault physical model, generate the load and stage model. We're gonna make it compatible with Snowflake, generate the DDL code to create the objects, create the tables. We're gonna generate Python code to integrate data from Postgres and we're gonna deploy that onto Snowflake. So quite simply, we just hit the deploy button in here, and this is gonna run through those various different steps. Generating the data vault, generating the loading and stage model, generating the export model, which goes into Wearscape Red, and that target code is all now being generated within Wearscape Red and pushed across now onto Snowflake. That's now completed the final step. We'll now see our data vault model, there's our payment transaction link, our bank account and counterparty hubs, various different satellites, and then there's our link between bank account and counterparty. So all of this has been generated, and then this has been pushed out with its loading and stage model into Westgate Red. We'll now see our load tables, stage tables that have been generated. If we go into here, we could load the data manually, or we could run the entire pipeline through to populate this whole raw vault using the scheduler. That's now gonna populate Snowflake load tables with all of those tables in Postgres. And if we watch it through on the graph, we'll see how that flows through. We can then flick across into Snowflake and we'll see our tables fully populated in our raw vault, ready to start doing some analysis or ready to start building out an information mart. What we've looked at here is very much the model-driven approach to generating a raw vault. You could take that on a, the next step and start using Westgate Red to build out the information marts on top of that raw vault. And if we now look in Snowflake, we should see our 10,000 rows within our raw vault objects with the different hash keys all generated using the predefined hash key algorithms that have been set up as part of the automation. That's Snowflake populated. You'll see that the comments have also been brought through. So these are definitions that have been either set up in Ellie or in the source system. And of course, no system is complete without fully documenting it. So let's get the documentation generated for everything we've built here. We see all of our hubs, satellites, links, stage tables, load tables. If we had a look at one of these satellites, for instance, we'd see the lineage of how that's populated. We can see the different fields that are used within the hash key algorithm. So you get a full technical spec. You also get all of the code. So we get the fully up-to-date Python code here being used to actually pull that data in from the various different staging tables into this, in this case, a hub table. That is the end-to-end -end build of our raw vault in Snowflake. All right, thank you, Simon. Uh, that was a beautiful demo. So as a recap, what did we see here? We saw a business model being created in Ali from a purely business perspective, not looking at source systems, figuring out what the data is really about, what is the meaning of that data, what is the meaning of those entities, figuring out the structure, and then passing that structure to Wearscape which is able to pull this as a blueprint. Yeah, and we took that, that blueprint and we mapped it to the different um, source connections that we'd set up within Wearscape. We then took that mapped business model and generated using the patterns that have been set up within Wearscape 3D's model conversion rules and generated a raw vault from that. That raw vault was then pushed across onto our target platform, all of the 
DDL code, the SQL needed to then populate those tables from the different source was, was generated and, um, and actually deployed onto the target platform and executed. So we then have this, um, this built populated data vault um, implemented and fully documented so that we can see exactly the full technical spec, but also those business definitions that have been curated within Ellie, pushed all the way through the designs. That's quite beautiful, and uh, we took just a few minutes to make it. Yeah. So if that interests you, if you like the look of that process and you want to have a try, please get in touch. The details here. Um, we'd love you to have a play around with that integration so that you can see for yourself how powerful it is. Yuha, thank you very much. Thank you, Simon. It's been a pleasure.